Hello everyone, thank you for joining Remote Sensing and JS question and answer session series. In today's question, we'll see how we can able to download the bathymetry data. So actually bathymetry is the study of underwater depth of the ocean floor or lake floor or a river floor actually. So bathymetry is the underwater equivalent of hypsometry or a topography. So how we can able to download this bathymetry data. To download this bathymetry data, we just need to go to visit this graded bathymetry data website. So just go to any browser and search here. That is a JIPCO bathymetry. So once you will search here, you will get the website link here. That is a JIPCO graded bathymetry data. We'll just click here and we we'll launch the same website. So here you can able to see the JIPCO that is a general bathymetry chart of the ocean floor. And this is the global ocean and land terrain model is there. So you can read the more information about it. So latest data is also available for 2022. So if you want to download for the whole globe, so you can go to download in this format. So there are NetCDF file, then GOT format and ASCII format is there. So three different kinds of data is there. So whatever the data you're interested, you can download. So ice surface elevation is there, then sub ice topo bathymetry is there. So if you are interested to download this, you just need to click here. Once you click here, it will start download automatically. So if you want to download for a particular reason, particular interest of area, if you want to download, then you can just click here, use our application. So once you click here, you will see this site use cookies to analyze traffic. Okay. So I can just remove this. So use keyboard that is a control plus mouse left click and drag a box, select your region of map. So if I want to select a region of map, so I can drag here. Okay. So they are saying press control, then left click on my mouse and drag like this. So I can select the area. Okay. So here the area is automatically entered. If you have latitude and longitude, you can add latitude and longitude here or if you want to download for any older data like 2021, JIP code 2020 or 2019. So what are the data you want to download? You can go for it. So I'll download the latest data set. I have selected the this region. So what they said, just press control, then left click on your mouse and you can drag like this. So you can download the data. Okay. So I have selected this region. So after that, what format we want, like we want GeoTIFF or NetCDF or ASCII. So I'm interested to download in GeoTIFF format. So I will select a GeoTIFF format. After that, if I want a color map and also shaded relief map in JPG file format or PNG, so I can select it. After that, the information is selected here, what area we have selected and we have selected GOT file format, color map, and shaded relief JPG. Also, this is the file size is estimating 4 MB it is showing. And if you want to download this, just need to add to basket option is there. Once we'll click add to basket, you will see view basket is option is there. So once we'll click on the view basket, you will see the option is showing for the download your data. So we can just click on the download options. So once you'll click on the download options, it will start downloading automatically. So now you can able to see this is the, this file is downloaded below. So this we are getting in zip file format. We can unzip this. So just I will open this show to folder. So just right click and extract file option is there. Okay. I will just extract this file. So I'll just, so this file I have just added here. Okay. So 0606. Now I will click here. Now you'll see we have downloaded the TIFF file also and that JPG file also. If I'll click here, you will see the relief map in JPG file format. Whatever the file format we have selected in color map, this is the color map and this is the shaded relief map. And these are the TIFF map. So we'll open into QGIS. So just copy the link from here. Just go to QGIS and I will discard this. So lay 
layer, add layer, add raster layer, and just search here. Okay. So here I'm getting this file. I'll just open, add, and close. So this way we can able to add the file here. And now if I want to do color to this map, I will go to properties, then symbology. I will use single band pseudo color. You want linear or discrete, the way you can select, I will just apply and okay. Okay, so now if I want to use hill shade effect, then I can create hill shade also, just go to raster. In the raster, there is a hill shade effect. So the same file is selected there. Then I can increase the Z factor up to 10 or 12. Then I will just go by default. I will not save. If you are interested, you can save your file and I just click on the run. So I will transparent the hill shade map. Go to transparency. I will do transparent up to 70% and this way we can able to select the area and we can able to add the map here. So it is very easy to download the bathymetry by data and this data is very useful in tsunami studies or ocean related studies. This data will be very helpful. So if you have any doubts, you can ask me in the comment sections. Thank you.